Super market. The super market has to place 12 items coded A to L in shelves numbered 1 to 16. Five of these are type of biscuits. One wonderful. So I'm going to write this down here. Biscuits, five of these. Three are types of candies. Candies, three. And the rest are types of savouries. Savouries, that means there will be four. Twelve items totally. In 16 shelves. So four shelves are... There are four more shelves than items. Only one item can be kept in a shelf. Therefore, there are four empty shelves. Items are to be placed such that all types of the same item are clustered together with no empty shelf between items of the same type. So, all savouries need to be together, all candies, all biscuits in some order. And order within them and where biscuits come, where candies come, where savouries come, we don't know that yet. And, and at least one empty shelf between two different types of items. At least one here, at least one here. At most two empty shelves can have consecutive numbers. Right? That means at least one, it could be two, but it cannot be three. There are four empty shelves, we cannot have three and one. We can have two and two, or you could have one right at the beginning, one at the end, and some other combination. But consecutively, we cannot have more than two empty shelves. Right? The following additional facts are known. A and B are to be placed in consecutively numbered shelves in increasing order. A, then B. I and J are to be placed in consecutively numbered shelves, both higher numbered than the shelves in which A and B are kept. Okay. I, J are also next to each other, higher than A, B. D, E, F are savouries and are to be placed in consecutively numbered shelves in increasing order after all the biscuits and candies. Oh, brilliant. So, they have the highest numbers. And they're together. So this is a big giveaway. They're together and they're the highest numbers. K is to be placed in shelf number 16. Oh, brilliant. These two put together. It gives us a lot. It tells us that D, E, F, K are the last four. K and 16. D, E, F in that order before that. And so, so the last shelf is not empty. There are only 16 shelves. There's something in shelf number 16 and that is not empty. So these three and four really unlocks this thing. L and J are items of the same type, while H is of a different type. I and J are in consecutively numbered shelves. L and J are of the same type. So L, I, J are of the same type. H is a different type. C is a candy and is to be placed in a shelf preceded by two empty shelves. So C is the first of the candies to be kept. Because just because before it is an empty shelf. L is to be placed in a shelf preceded by exactly one empty shelf. No, too many constraints. L is the first of its kind. C is a candy. And the first of candies. There are three types of candies. Fine. Brilliant. Now let's, let's look at the questions and put in some data and then see where that takes us. And to start with, we know this is K. We know this is D, E, F. We know therefore this is empty. And this much we know. And so let's put that in. These are savouries. We've gone this far. And after this, we infer that L, I, J are in one group. Before L, there is an empty shelf. Before C, there are two empty shelves. And L, I, J and H are different. This Lij here and C here clearly tells us Lij and C are in different pots because L is the first of its kind before just before it is an empty shelf. C is the first of its kind just before C there are two empty shelves. Or C and H should be same. Lij is different from C and H. Fine. So Lij are in one group. C H are in one group. Just before C there are two gaps, and this is candies. Now we know that A and B are together. So A and B, can they be here or they should be here? Lij are biscuits, CH are candies. A and B are together. They are the same type. What does that tell us? That tells us A, B should be here and not here. Because there are only three candies. With this we are through. We know that 
L I J A N B are the biscuits. C H and what is the missing one? A B C D E F G is missing. C H G are candies. D E F K are savouries. We have not yet worried about the orders. L comes first. That much we know. Of the biscuit, C comes first of the candies. That much we know. But it could be C H G or C G H. We don't know beyond that. Right? No. Let's go further. A and B are to be placed in consecutively numbered shelves in increasing order. I and J are to be placed in consecutive number shelves higher than A and B. So it should be L. A B I J or L A B J I. So L A B should be together, the first three, and then it should be I G or J I. L A B I J or L A B J I. That is the order. Likewise, C H G or C G H. That is the order. L A B I J or L A B J I. C H G or C G H. It could be. C G H or C H G here, in which case these two would be empty. L A B J I or L A B I J here. That is one possibility, or we could have L A B I J or L A B J I here. This would be empty. C H G here, two empty shelves. Both are possible. We don't know whether the order among the items is the last savoury. We don't know whether it is biscuit candy savory or candy biscuit savory. We don't know that yet. Right. At this point, we'll have to go ahead and look at the question because I don't think we can infer anything beyond this. Right. So, this uh, L A B J I L A B I J, those two we know. One of these two is the answer. C H G or C H C G H. One of these two is the sequence. That much we know, but we don't know. Whether the the candy thing comes first or the biscuit set comes first, we don't know whether it is five, three, and then four, or three, five, and then four. And both are possible. Go to the question: How many different ways can the items be arranged on the shelf? So first up, we can say this is C H G or C G H. In which case, these two would be empty. And then we could have L A B. I J or J I. So four combinations like this: two here, two here, two into two, four. The other variant is if I'm going to write it down this side. This where L A B J I or I J. This one being empty, and this being C H G or C G H. Again, four ways: four plus four, eight combinations. Effectively, we are saying it could be biscuit candy savory, or candy biscuit savory. That is two possibilities. Two variants for biscuits. Two variants for candies. Two into two into two. Eight combinations totally. Which of the following items is not a type of biscuit? Biscuit is L A B I J or L A B J I. So this is a biscuit. This is a biscuit. This is a biscuit. This is not a biscuit. G has to be a candy. That's the answer we are looking for. Which of the following can represent the numbers of empty shelves in a possible world? Twelve is empty. That we know for sure. Right? And we could have one, two, three, four. Sorry, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven being occupied by biscuits. In which case, six would be empty. And one, two, three. In case, these two would be empty. So, one. Two, six, twelve is a possibility, or we could have C H G here, which is seven and eight would be empty. One, two, three, four, five would be occupied. One would be empty. One, seven, eight, twelve. These are the two possibilities for empty shelves. One, seven, eleven, twelve. That doesn't work. One, five, six, twelve. That doesn't work. One, two, six, twelve is our answer. Not one, two, eight, twelve. Which of the following statements is necessarily true? There are two empty shelves between biscuits and candies. Not necessary. It could be C H G here, 
and one empty shelf l a b j i that is possible c h g together in 3 4 5 that is possible this need not be true all candies are kept before biscuits not necessary all biscuits are kept before candies not necessary we could have candies then biscuits or biscuit then candies both of these are possible there are at least four shelves between items b and c right to start with if c were behind with the biscuits came first then before c there would be two empty then we'd have l a b i j or j i brilliant i j or j i so there are four shelves between b and c if l a b i j comes later c comes first we have c h g one empty shelf and then l a b i j slash j i in this case there are 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 shelves between b and c so either 4 or 5 between b and c this one is definitely true statement d is clearly true statement d is definitely true statement d is clearly true wonderful set uh, not too easy but not too challenging either once you grab this the question becomes that little bit easier throughout